what's going on guys it's gbp baby welcome to another video it's currently five minutes past midnight on wednesday the 22nd of november and um yeah we're going to be looking at tuesday's price action we're finally starting to see how the week start we're starting to, we're finally starting to see the week unfold which is nice to see um i'm just going to quickly reiterate what i marked out um in my Sunday video, which again, I encourage everyone to go watch. So we had the 50% level off this wick, which is consequent encroachment. Let's just get that marked out like so. And you can see how we traded below that. And now um, we're starting to move back away from that. And then we also had this fair value gap, which I liked the look off as well on the downside. So these were the two targets I have in terms of, in, I had in mind. And then also this, oh, sorry. And then also this wick here. Um, which should be at this wick, remember gap, wicks are gaps too, that should be providing resistance when we trade into it, depending on how bearish we are. So we can make that blue. And yeah, let's drop down to the daily and have a better look at what's been going on today. So you'll see we traded lower. Um, this is still Tuesday's price action. This is Monday, Tuesday. You can see we traded down, taking out sell stops, resting below this daily low. And you can see that now we're just starting to trade away. You can see we're starting to trade away from that um, I like to see this. It means that we you know we grab stops, which means that we are now probably looking for some kind of high to um, release those positions on. Now, if you remember me early in the week, I was saying that I do want to see price trade back into this consolidation. So I do believe that's our next target. So tomorrow, I'd like to see a nice expansion upwards towards um, this consolidation here. And I'll show you what I mean by consolidation on a lower time frame. But in in general, I want to see Monday's high get taken out, so we can mark out that as buy side liquidity. And then I want to see us again trade into this consolidation. Now, two things are either going to happen at this point. We're either going to trade aggressively through this and release our stops above these relative equal highs, which is perfectly possible and perfectly fine. Or we'll find a lot of resistance here and then we'll see a price turn around and run lower. My analysis at the beginning of the week was to see it trade into this and then see, um, then have a reversal. Um, this is possible because there are, um, sorry, there are uh, weekly profiles that that are designed like that as in we create the high on the wednesday and then thursday and friday we run lower um but it's also possible that tuesday's now just created the low and we're going to expand higher and start running for these relative equal highs now if you remember again my target in general is i'm looking for this um, bullish order block on the monthly to get traded to which is in line with that fair value gap on the weekly and also I am still bearish. The fact that we closed below this weekly wick here, the fact we closed below that last week is what's telling me that I want to, which is what's um, making me want to see lower prices on dollar. But overall, within the next couple of days, um, I do want to see us expand into this buy side liquidity. And this is the consolidation I'm talking about right here. So you can see there's a lot of back and forth price action and then we left the range. And then again, we took out this sell side liquidity. You can see how we dipped below that. Finally, we're starting to expand higher. We're just taking out this swing high here from this green candle, which is what, which is what is tell, telling me and opening its hand to me, showing, okay, we're likely going to trade into this buy side liquidity now, and then we'll see how it responds. If we trade through this buy side liquidity, this level here, which is also a, bear, a bullish order block, it should act as a bearish order block because we've um, traded through it on the downside. If we trade through it on the upside, then we'll likely find support and then you will start seeing that the we'll start seeing these relative equal highs get run for which is absolutely fine as well so it's just a matter of waiting but we know that our first target is here and then we can see our price acts here if it gets here and it starts to slow down so to consolidate we'll likely see a, a, a reversal and you know a continuation to the downside but um either way that's what i'm anticipating so let's go to the hourly you can see how we've moved away from this level you can see how we're constantly wicking down accumulating positions and um, yeah, on the hourly, to be honest, it does look more like the buy side resting up here is what wants to get targeted purely because of the relative equal highs and that's where the liquidity resides. So this will probably be the most ideal place. There's going to be a lot of stops up there and this fair value gap as well would be a nice um, target for pound, for dollar, sorry. So let's just mark this out and let's send that to the back. We'll make this yellow as a target. And then remember, we will, I, I'm in I'm, I am anticipating consolidation at this level and then a potential reach into this buy side before um, figuring out what's going to be happening after that. But yeah, we have buy side liquidity right there. And yeah, that's just pr that's pretty much my analysis. Um, in terms of entry, 
we can look at we can look for a breaker um, we do have a breaker here low high low low yes this wick did actually take out this low so we look for the last up close candle before the move lower taking out this low which is this green candle so there's potential for price to return back down to this level and offer us a nice breaker entry so let's just make that red should we make it red let's make it a light blue <laughs> and we'll put a breaker And that breaker might be um, offered in the new day, as in create the law of the day, potentially runs down, offers us a nice entry, and then again, pushes higher and starts running for that buy side liquidity here. And again, these relative equal highs up here. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much my analysis on dollar. Let's go to GBP USD. Now GBP is in quite a lot of consolidation and um, if we're expecting higher dollar that means we should expect in lower GBP. So in terms of lower targets for GBP I'm looking for, um, I'm looking at this bullish order block. I want to see us trade down into that level here so we can mark that out on the daily. We're likely going to want to take that and then right now you can see we've just about taken out this buy side here. So that buy side liquidity has just been tagged on GBP. You can see we're still just floating around that level. And um, yeah, I'd like to see us trade lower and run into this bullish order block. This whole move here is the bullish order block. And how far down are we allowing price to trade into the bullish order block? 50% because that is mean threshold. Now, price could reach through the bullish order block and run into these lows. Um, especially if we're expecting dollar to do the same. It's just that GBP is showing a lot of strength right now. Um, GBP is moving a little bit consolidated right now which is why I was going to say 50% of that but um, we have a nice fair value gap here nonetheless that I'd like to see get filled in line with the 50% level off the order block so let's just get that let's just get that mean threshold marked out for us like so so now we've got the mean threshold off the bullish order block we can thicken that up and then when we drop down to the hourly, now we can see, okay, um, we can anticipate price coming down to this level. Whether it runs for these relatively equal lows is another question, another story. But um, it is per perfectly possible because we do have a nice break here. Low, high, lower, low, and then we break higher, making these candles here a breaker. So let's get those marked out as potential um, downside targets as well on the four hour. And we can write out breaker because it's, it's perfectly possible that pound may want to reach there. And although I've got these targets marked out, we will see how price reacts at these levels. For example, when we do reach this level, once it trades through it, we know that we can now anticipate this level to act as resistance. So we can be selling at this level to keep pushing lower, running for the sell stops below here into the breaker. But right now, my target is obviously going to be this um, daily order block, 50% level, see how price reacts. If it keeps running, we're likely going for the breaker. So you can see how it's a staged process now. And then we can put sell stops below here because that's where the sell side is going to be residing. And obviously right now we're just accumulating those um, positions to release down here. But yeah, that makes sense to me. Let's go to your USD finally. And we'll start with the weekly. And you can see again, compared to yesterday's video, you can see how much more understanding of the of price action we've got now that now that we're um now that we're taking out some kind of stops so you can see on euro we've just taken out some buy stops on the weekly which is interesting and i am going to talk about euro gbp at the end so stick around for that but you'll see that we're, considering we're taking out weekly stops we can now we need to look for where those stops are going to get released so let's go to the daily and again we have the same swing glow just like euro and um sorry just like pound and just like dollar um, price will likely want to expand down into that we also have a breaker all the way down here as well i believe on the four hour this large candle here is a breaker so we can mark out this breaker like so we'll draw that out in light blue and then we can type breaker but you can see that um yours already showing significant weakness so Oh, not that breaker, sorry guys. That's the wrong breaker. Um, this breaker, low, high, low, low. So the last up candle before the move down, which is here. So there's this breaker all the way down here. Now, 
if euro euro is already showing a significant amount of weakness as i was saying so we need to know okay euro showing more weakness than pound right now can this be supported with euro usd well we can look i mean euro G, euro gbp we'll look at that in a second but let's say it can obviously we've got the south stops residing below there you can see we're aggressively trading lower already and again we have the same breaker just like on pound and just like on um, dollar that we'd want to see price come down to so I think it's best we just keep our eyes on these levels here to see if we can reach down there on euro so in terms of shorting positions tomorrow um, if we're going to be trading we want to be shorting on euro because that's the weaker pair now for support of that we can go to euro gbp and you can see how we've filled in a fair value gap i believe is that a fair value gap yes i think it's a weekly fair value gap yeah right so on euro gbp we've filled in a uh weekly fair value gap and look how price has just turned around trade to the 30 percent level and price is aggressively turned around already running right into these lows so we can anticipate these lows to get taken on euro gbp so if we if we're looking at euro gbp knowing that euro is going to be moving lower that means euro is going to be the weaker pair which allows us then to be looking for shorts on euro usd so it's things like this which are all added on add, add into confluence and allows me to understand okay it's probably best i trade euro tomorrow because look how much weakness we're seeing in euro gbp like that's going to support and help that move down on euro usd down into this breaker potentially but obviously we'll have to wait and see we're just we're just speculating aren't we guys but um yeah that's going to be everything guys i hope that made sense um this was quite a quick video still but Hopefully you can see what I'm saying, see how see my understanding, see how I'm evaluating the charts, and yes, understanding my targets and how I want to see price reach for them. But let's go on Dixie last one more time because there was a level. Although we've got the buy side liquidity up here, let's look at Dixie's um, breaker. Just like we just looked at Euro's breaker, just like we looked at GBP's breaker. Do we have a breaker? We do. We got a low. We got a high, low, higher, high, and then we break lower. So this would be. This up here would be um, dollars breaker, but again, depending on how much strength we see, if it reaches that or not is another story. But it'll be interesting to see how um, dollar makes its way up, and we're just going to keep an eye on this, and we'll be trading accordingly. And so long as price keeps supporting, so so as long as the buy side keeps getting taken, as long as we still we continue to see support, we know that we can keep buying up into this breaker. But that's going to be everything guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to join the discord don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace